They call it being sun-kissed. Andrea has been sun-domestically abused. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to say things like that. Uh, that's, that's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. Yeah. She's been sun-smacked. She's been sun-beaten on the arms, too. Sun-corporal punishment-ted. And then we went to my parents, and we watched Transformers, and then we watched a little bit of Transmorphers. Two very different movies. We made a stop at Big Don's on the way home, and now it's morning, and I'm on my way to Lococo's to buy some fruit and some bread and some groceries because we are all out. No, wait, change of plans. I think we're actually going to be having a brunch BBQ this morning, so I'm not going to walk all the way there when I'm just going to have to go back later. How about a Niagara Falls adventure while we wait? Today's adventure is Rosberg's. Which isn't there anymore. It was torn down a little while ago and memorialized by that park I showed you last time. For a few years there, it was actually just a big hole in the ground, big safety hazard, uh, until they finally filled it in and made a nice empty lot. Back in the day, you could shop the big R. I think the place was actually almost 100 years old. It just became like a lot of other buildings in the falls where they were abandoned and then they became unsafe to use and so they had to tear them down, but they stood there for a really long time in hopes that someone else would fix them up and pay for them, but no one wanted to because they're too expensive and this area doesn't generate a lot of traffic for anything. It's a shame too because a lot of my elders have told me that it was a pretty swanky place and that Queen Street used to be the place to be until the mall opened and ruined everything. And then now that I'm an adult, the mall kind of sucks and now we have nowhere to shop. Sorry this adventure doesn't have a more happy ending. But it's okay, we can find our clothes and our stuff one way or another. After all, there are plenty of highlighter jackets and sweatpants to be handed down to the generations below. It's either that or go to a different city. And that's still not much of a consolation, is it? Sorry, that was a bit negative. I was in a little bit of a bad mood there. Now that I'm full of breakfast, I feel a lot better. It's time to go clean the house up. And it looks like we're not going to be having a BBQ brunch this weekend. There, clean. Clean. Okay. Also clean. Clean as well, ish, enough. In the process of clean. <laughs> yeah, have a will of day.